Alright, so a lot's been going on. Let's see what videos we're gonna work on this week. Oh yes, the E2 fiasco. That'll be a lot of fun. Oh wait. That's right, it's E3. I guess I have to cover that first. Okay, so let's make another video that no one's gonna care about. What caught my eye at E3? From the Summer Games Fest, we're starting off with uh, Gearbox and 2K working on Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So it's a spin-off of the Borderlands series. It will be a looter shooter, but in a Dungeons and Dragons setting. It's promised to be its own game outside of the Borderlands lore, and Tiny Tina is essentially the dungeon master. So it'll be a crazy adventure RPG looter shooter with magic elements including swords and other type of melee weapons. Among Us has a roadmap now with a plan to include new roles and a new hide and seek game mode. This is a good thing for the game as it's riddled with mods, not saying it's bad, especially for the low price, but it does need to branch out if it wants to stay relevant. Two Point Campus was announced, which is kind of a sequel to the Two Point Hospital. I kind of like these games and would love to see more of it soon. Definitely do check them out if you do like your tycoon games, and especially ones like these where they're a little bit more like puzzle games as well as you're trying to use the space that you're given to make the best building and the best business. Moving on, Battlestate Games is releasing another Escape from Tarkov game, Battle for Concordia. I have no clue what this is supposed to be right now, and it was just a teaser trailer. So let's see what happens with that. I'm not putting my hopes up, it will probably take 8 years and have a bunch of bugs that will, won't be fixed. And there was a Paladins update. <laughs> Endless Dungeon. We saw this last year as a teaser trailer with a pretty cool atmosphere, but we saw gameplay of it finally, and it's a 3D top-down shooter. So that game's off my list sadly. I was looking forward to the game's chemistry of characters, but I'm not a fan of the top-down shooter. Third person would have been great, and so moving on. A new studio, Deviation Games, was formed, they partnered with PlayStation, they're working on a brand new game, and that's about it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, that's really all they said. Back for Blood, a spiritual successor to the Left 4 Dead series, revealed the new trailer. The game is set to release on October 12th, with a beta starting on August 5th. And that's all the games I care about from this event. So that is it for the Summer Games Fest, we're going to continue covering the other announcements Again, these videos are not going to be every single announcement. I did p pass up on a bunch of games that were released on that event for the Summer Games. I'm only going to be covering the ones that I kind of cared about and the ones that I can kind of make fun of just because, hey, it's kind of what I would like to play, but at the same time, it was, it's not being handled the way I like. So uh, that'll be it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully later today.